so much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me tell you something about myself. I don't like scary movies. <laughs> the worst part of scary movies, and it's in all of them, is the part where you got your hero, right? And this guy, he's the only one doing anything about all those werewolves or whatever. He's having a hell of a time. Breaking the action, he finds himself in some building or other, gets to a bathroom. All the guy wants to do is just splash some cold water on his face. Before he does, he always gives a little look in the mirror as if to say, it's you and me, buddy. I'll see you in a second. Goes down, puts the water on his face, comes back up, hideous monster in the mirror right behind him. Every time, it gets me every single time. Now look, I know that I'm a grown man and movies are fake, but I have a bathroom and it has a sink and a mirror. Sometimes I'm alone in the house. But I recently realized I don't have to be afraid of this anymore. I realized my bathroom is too small for this to happen in real life. My bathroom is so small that for any monster to get into the proper position, the phrase, excuse me, would have to be used. Well, now he's lost the element of surprise. I'm splashing cold water on my face, and I hear, let me just uh, get past here, sorry, it's a bit tighter in here. Ah well, look who it is. I'll tell you what I do like, is I like going to novelty stores, it's professional curiosity, just like to see what's up. I'm a big fan of hilarity in all its many forms. I notice they are still making the gag peanut brittle. It's a can, it says peanut brittle on it, then you open it up and then snakes fly out of it. I think the best time to get someone with this gag was the 1800s, right? <laughs> now, I noticed something about the gag peanut brittle can. They had updated the font on the can <laughs> to make it look more modern because that was the problem. This means, at some point, the head of the novelty company saw this and called a meeting. Gentlemen, this is unacceptable. No one would be fooled by this outdated looking can of peanut brittle. We're better than this, gentlemen. Now, I want five modern fonts on my desk by five o'clock. Five by five, you heard me. They must have put on a pot of coffee or something. They got it done. And that peanut brittle can looks thoroughly up to date. So if you were ever to come up to me and say, hey, Paul, would you like some canned peanut brittle? I would, of course, say, what? I would love some canned peanut brittle. I, I, I've probably had it three or four times today because it's the most common snack in the world. I have no cause to be suspicious. Hold on a second. Why did I even say that? Here you are, kind enough to offer me some canned peanut brittle from your secret stash and I bring the idea of suspicion into this? Shame on me. So if your offer is still good, I would indeed enjoy some of that canned peanut brittle, a snack we have already established exhaustively. Might as well be water for how common it is on God's green earth. So, please, let me open the can. You have done enough. 
Oh, twist off, very convenient. Oh my God! <laughs> Just as I was getting ready to enjoy the sweet and safe retreat. <laughs> Two venomous cobras jumped out of the can. One of them tried to hook my eyeball with a fang <laughs> as he made his descent. You gotta retrace your steps. Maybe they got a bad batch from India or something. I, I, what's that? What's that? Metal springs encased in vinyl. <laughs> Sir, you have fooled me twice. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Merci. Thank you very much.